Okay, guys, this is Sri. Uh, so in this video, we are going to see about the uh, MySQL InnoDB buffer pool configuration. Um, in sometimes, actually, I face this. Uh, so in sometimes, if you set uh, buffer pool size, uh, some for 10 GB or 12 GB, but you may see the different uh, value in the buffer pool after set it. So if you don't know why you have, you set one value, but if you see, a different value but you still don't know the reasons then i think this video will be helpful to understand what is happening uh in background when you are configuring the you know db buffer pool size okay uh so uh let's start with this uh in this uh yeah before that in this video i'm just i'm not going to explain about the uh what is the benefit of those variables and uh what is buffer pool i'm not going to explain those things but uh, we are just going to see about the complete configuration, okay, uh, about the InnoDB buffer pool size. So, uh, when configuring the InnoDB buffer pool size, there is other two variables also playing the major role of the configuration, okay. Uh, so, from MySQL 5.7.5, you can resize the uh, MySQL buffer, uh, uh, InnoDB buffer pool online. I mean, without restart, you can... Uh, you can increase or reduce the InnoDB buffer pool size from MySQL 5.7.5. So that time they introduced uh, MySQL community introduced the variable InnoDB buffer pool chunk size. Okay, from the MySQL 5.7.5. The purpose of this variable is uh, just this is defining the chunk size of the buffer pool in, in uh, for the increase or reduce activity. At which chunk uh, the buffer pool need to be increased or reduced? Okay, for example. <laughs> If you configure you know, to be a buffer pool size equal to 500 MB, uh, then uh, you are setting the uh, you know, to be buffer pool equal to 8 GB, uh, then it would be like uh, 500, 1 GB, 1.5, 2,000, uh, 2.5, 3,000, 3.5, like that. Okay. This is just defining the uh, chunk size of the resize, resize activity. I will show you in the demo so that would be better to understand this. And uh, finally, the you know, buffer pool instances. Okay, the purpose of this in instances is you can divide your uh, buffer pool size into chunk, and each uh, I mean each divided area will be acted as a uh, separate buffer pool. For example, if you have ten GB of buffer pool, if you have buffer pool instances equal to four, in that kind of scenario, you will have two point four uh, buffer pools. Internally, you will have four buffer pools. Uh, and each buffer pool have their own flesh list, everything, okay? And uh, each buffer pool size is 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, okay? Uh, that is the purpose of the buffer pool instance, okay? Now let's go to the configuration section. So this is the major rule uh, to configure the uh, InnoDB buffer pool size, okay? InnoDB buffer pool size should be, InnoDB buffer pool chunk size into you know, DB buffer pool instances are multiple of you know, DB buffer pool size into you know, DB buffer pool instances. Okay, uh, so for example, if you have 2GP you know, DB buffer pool size, uh, then uh, 5112 MP into four. I mean, this 5112 MP is the you know, DB buffer pool chunk size. And uh, four is the you know DB buffer pool instances. So four into five one twelve MP, uh, then it is equal to two GP. Okay, you know DB buffer pool size equal to two GP. Otherwise, it also can be two GP, two fifty six into four. So if you uh, multiply this, this will become to one GP only, right? Equal to one GP. And multiple of means 1 GP into 2, okay, equal to 2 GP. Okay, so this is just a multiple value. Uh, for example, 2 GP uh, equal to 256 into 4, that is 1 GP. Uh, and if you multiply 1 GP into 2, then it will accomplish the buffer pool size, 2 GP, okay. So this is, you can also have like this i will show the example so that it will be uh, better to understand this okay uh, for the demo section i have the different scenarios 
to explain this okay there are there are different things uh, one is we can do in the config file i mean the my.cnf and the next one is we can do the online as well okay uh, we can go with this step by step one by one so it would be better to understand okay but uh, the first one is the config file i mean the my.cnf uh i already have the mysql installed here and my mysql version is mysql 8.0.27 mysql community version okay um uh, let me select at that you know db buffer pool size uh this will be stored in the bytes okay we can convert this by uh divided by 1024 will give the kb and one more 1024 will be give the mp okay so i just divided by 1024 and 1024 so this is 128 mp okay uh, megabytes that is the default one and also let me do the same for the pinodb buffer pool chunk size this is also stored in the byte so we can divide it by 1024 and 1024 to get into the mp uh, that is also 128 by default. Okay. And the next one is the InnoDB buffer pool instances. So that is one. Uh, if you configure less than one GP of the InnoDB buffer pool size, our, our current configuration is 128. If you configure, if you have the less than one GB of the InnoDB buffer pool size, then your InnoDB buffer pool instance value should be one. Okay, if you have more than one, then the it will be have the default value. The default value is eight. Okay, so currently we have 128 MB uh, only. Uh, that is a default one, default value for the InnoDB buffer pool size. So the InnoDB buffer pool instance is one. Now, as per the rule, this is our rule, right? So InnoDB buffer pool size equal to InnoDB buffer pool chunk size into InnoDB buffer pool instances, right? This is our rule. So based on our rule, current the default value is satisfying because you know DB buffer pool instance equal to one. One into you know DB buffer pool chunk size is 128 MP. One into 128 MP equal to you know DB buffer pool size 128 MP. Okay, so the default value is satisfying uh, the uh, rule. Okay, now we can go one by one. Mm. Uh, so the first one is set. Only InnoDB, uh, I just make it like this, the uh, short InnoDB buffer pool size, I underscore B underscore P underscore S. Okay, uh, similarly, other variables also, InnoDB buffer pool chunk size here, InnoDB buffer pool instance here. Okay, uh, for the, I mean, the, just a short note. Uh, so first one is set only InnoDB buffer pool size equal to 2 GB in configuration form. So let's see. So this is our current value. In order to be buffer pool instance equal to one, in order to be buffer pool chunk size equal to 128, in order to be buffer pool size is 128. Let's do it. Yes. It is C minor C enough. Mm. I'm just adding the inodb variable. In ODB buffer pool size equal to. 2 GB. I just set here in ODB buffer pool size equal to 2 GB, uh, which need the restart. Uh, I have the 4 GB RAM uh, in this server, so I just set it to 2 GB. Now let's restart the MySQL service. Okay, I am just restarting the MySQL service. Mm. Okay, restart is done. Now let's check the value. Okay, uh, if I check the value, I can see the InnoDB buffer pool size is now uh, 2 GB. This is in MP, 2048 MB, which is 2 GB. Okay, 2, 2 GB. And if you see this uh, InnoDB chunk size, there is no change. Uh, it has the default value only, 128. And InnoDB buffer pool instance also 8. Previously it was 1. 
because our InnoDB buffer pool size is less than one GP. So we have the one in the InnoDB buffer pool instances. But now we increase the increase the InnoDB buffer pool size in to two GB. So this is more than one GB. So we have the default value. The default value of the InnoDB buffer pool instance is eight. Okay. Now let's see this is satisfying the rule or not. So our as per our rule is you know, DB buffer pool size should be, you know, DB buffer pool chunk size into, you know, DB buffer pool instances. Otherwise, multiple of, you know, DB buffer pool chunk size into, you know, DB buffer pool instances, right? <clears throat> now, let's check. Now, 8 into 128. Okay. Select 8 into 128. If you see, this is 1024. Okay. 1024 means 1 GP. Okay. 8 into 128 MP. You go to 1024. This is 1 GP. So we uh, so this is not satisfying this. I mean this you know DB buffer pool chunk size into you know DB buffer pool instances. But we have the other rule as well, multiple of you know DB buffer pool chunk size into you know DB buffer pool instances. Currently we have 1024. So select two into 1024. This is the, we are multiplying the 1024 value, which is 2048. So this is satisfying the you know, DB buffer pool size. Okay. Uh, so we, what we did is we just configured the you know, DB buffer pool size equal to 2 GP in the minor CNF and we restarted the MySQL server. And now we have the you know, DB buffer pool chunks is the default value and the you know, DB buffer pool instance is also the default value. And if you multiply this, it is satisfying the rule as well. Okay. So this is the first step. The next one is. You know, DB buffer pool size equal to 2 GP and you know, DB buffer pool chunk size equal to 512. Yep, uh, this is actually MP. 512 MP here as well. Okay. Um, so now let's see what is happening. You know, DB buffer pool size equal to 2 GP and the you know, DB buffer pool chunk size equal to 512 MP. Uh, let's do this in the minor CNF. We already have the InnoDB buffer pool size. Now I am just adding InnoDB buffer pool chunk size equal to 512 MP. Okay, now let's restart. I am just restarting the MySQL. Okay, the restart has completed. Now let's check the current values. Okay, so here, if you see, you know, DB buffer pool chunk size, we set 512 MP, but here we have 256 MP. Okay, that is modified value. Whatever we did in the InnoDB you know, buffer pool chunk size is 512 MP, but after the restart, we have only 256 MP. So why we have this value? Okay, so <clears throat> 512 MP means we have the total buffer pool size is 248. Select and our buffer pool instance default value is 8. Okay. Select 8 into 512. That is what we configured. If you configure this, the value is 4096. Okay. But our you know, buffer pool size is 2048. Okay. So if we have if if, if the 512 is applied here. The 512 into, I mean, the InnoDB buffer pool chunk size into InnoDB buffer pool instant value is not matching the InnoDB buffer pool size. It is, it is overflowing, right? We should have the at least 4 GP. This is 4 GP. 4 GP, if we have 4 GP buffer pool size, then InnoDB buffer pool chunk size is equal to 512 MP and InnoDB buffer pool instance equal to 8 will be matched. But we have only 2 GP. So if we have this 512 here, as per our configuration, the scene of 512 into 8. It is 4 GB. So it is not satisfying the rule. Okay. So what MySQL did, did internally, it just truncated the value to 256 MP. Okay. Uh, half of the FITO. So we have 256 MP in the chunk size. Now select 256 into 8. It is 2048. It is satisfying the rule. And the buffer pool size is 2048. So when the restart happens, MySQL D 
uh, read the buffer pool chunk size value. This is over allocated. This is not going to satisfy the uh, rule. So as per our rule, in order to be buffer pool chunk size into in order to be buffer pool instance, it should be the in order to be buffer pool size. Otherwise, the multiply of this value should be the in order to be buffer pool size. It is not going to satisfy the rule. So the MySQL D just truncated truncated the value to 256. Because the InnoDB buffer pool instances, the default value is 8. So 8 into 256 is going to satisfy the 2GP of the InnoDB buffer pool size. OK, this is what happens in the background. OK, now let's go to the next one. Now we can see this. InnoDB buffer pool size equal to 2GP, and the InnoDB buffer pool chunk size equal to 512 MP, and the InnoDB buffer pool size, I mean, InnoDB buffer pool instance equal to 12. The default is 8. Now uh, we are going to manually set into 12 and what and see what, what is going to happen. Okay, that is the next step. Let me edit the myrcnf inodb buffer pool instances equal to 12. Okay. So this is also not going to satisfy this, but we can see what is happening. Okay. I'm just going to restart the MySQL service. Mm. Okay, restart completed. Now let's check the current value. Okay, uh, so after the restart, what we set get etc my dot cnf grep fni in odb. Okay, so this is our configuration my dot cnf configuration. We said in odb buffer pool size equal to 2 gp and in odb buffer pool chunk size equal to 512 mp. And the InnoDB buffer pool instance is 12. Okay, now let's see. We have the buffer pool size configured only 2 GP, and we have the instance 12 and the 512 MP. So if we have select 12 into 512 means this is 6144. This is around 6 GP. If we have the uh, InnoDB buffer pool size equal to 6 GP. Then this InnoDB buffer pool chunk size and the instance will be okay. Okay. But we have only configured the InnoDB buffer pool size equal to 2 GP. In this kind of scenario, MySQL D, when the restart happens, the MySQL D will calculate based on our the instance and it will modify the chunk size as well as it also modified the buffer pool size. Okay. Uh, because it is 4 MP more than uh, the 2 GP. Okay. So now if we increase 12, select 12 into 171. Now we will get the InnoDB buffer pool size value. But this is not what we configured. As per our configuration, the buffer pool instance is 12 and the InnoDB buffer pool chunk size should be 512. But we here the MySQL to modify the chunk size to 171 MP. And also our InnoDB buffer pool size equal to 2 GP. Uh, 2 GP means select 2 into 1024 into 1024, just 2 into uh, 1024, it should be 2048. But here we have 2052, OK? Because based on this calculation, I mean, as per the rule, buffer pool size should be uh, multiplication of buffer pool instance and buffer pool chunk size. So 12 into 171. 12 into 171 equal to 2052. So we have the 2052 equal to. But as per the 2GP means, we should have 2048. But based on the rule, it should be 2058. So the MySQL D increased the buffer pool size value as well. So here, there are two modification happens. Based on our instance, the chunk size is modified from 512 to 171. And also, you know, the buffer pool size is modified from 2048 to 2052 a little modification also happened. Okay, so now this is also satisfying the rule. So whatever you are configuring 
in the uh, so what i am coming to say uh, using this is you should whenever you are configuring the buffer pool size you should uh, make sure that your configuration is satisfying this rule. i mean this rule it should be satisfy the you know dp buffer pool size i mean uh, the buffer pool chunk size in the you know dp buffer pool instances otherwise uh, multiple of you know dp buffer pool chunk size in the you know dp buffer pool instances otherwise the mysql d will be truncated the value and it will modify the uh, configuration okay that is what i am coming to see now let's just change you know dp buffer pool chunk size to some higher value and see. okay yeah now uh, let's let's see this as well Mm. Okay, uh, so now I am just going to uh, hide this InnoDB buffer pool size. I just hide it. And I am also going to hide in the InnoDB buffer pool instances. Now only we have the InnoDB buffer pool chunk size equal to 1G. And we can see any modification, what is happening with this. I am just restarting the mysql service okay restart completed uh, now let's check the values okay so now there is no uh, changes because if you have them uh, i mean only the chunks is increased then i mean what we applied is 1 gp right if it is 1 gp here 1 gp into 1 it is not going to the satisfy the buffer precise so there is no modification happens all the values are currently we have the default value you know the buffer precise we have the 128 that is the default one and the chunk says we have 128 the that is the uh, default one and the buffer pool instances that is also we have the default value okay because just increasing the chunk size uh will not going to satisfy the rule uh so uh, the mysql is just make it the default value okay 128 so this is about the configuration in the my dot cnf the thing is you should make sure that your configuration is matching the rule this is the rule of configuration the um you know db buffer pool size now let's see on the online change now we see the uh my dot cnf and we restarted and what happens right now we can uh, see what happens in the online. I mean, set global using the set global whatever. So for to test this, first we can set these values. You know, DB buffer pool size equal to 2 GP, and you know, DB buffer pool chunk size equal to 512G. Uh, this is also MP. And you know, DB buffer pool instance equal to 4. Let's let's make these changes first. ATC. Yeah. Okay, uh, so buffer pool chunk size equal to 5, 12, M. And the buffer pool instance is equal to 4. I'm going to restart the MySQL. Mm. Okay, restart completed. Now, let's check the values okay uh this is what we updated buffer pool size equal to 2 gp it is in 2 gp 2048 mp so it is 2 gp and the buffer pool chunk says what we updated is 512 512 mp and the buffer pool instances we configured for okay uh this is also satisfying the rule uh 512 it is 2048 so there is no value truncation nothing happened we properly configured these values uh, so this this is fine now we can test the scenarios okay so this is what we need to configure we done this after that resize buffer pool size to 1 gp okay so here you know db buffer pool chunk size and you know db buffer pool instances are the read only variable okay you need to restart the mysql service so that then only you can update change those variables okay but only you know db buffer pool size is we can configure on the uh, online so let's see what is going to happen okay set global 
InnoDB buffer pool size equal to 1 GP. 1 GP means 1 into 1024 into 1024 into 1024. So here, first one, one is our configuration 1 GP. So 1, 1024 means uh, 2 kilobytes, and this is 2 megabytes, and this is 2 gigabytes, 1 GP. Okay, so we need to multiply uh, 1 in. Two, uh, three times one zero two four. Okay, so it will make sure uh, to one GP. I also read it the error log in the next terminal. So let's see. I am just going to make this change one GP. So when I execute this command, I am having one warning. Okay, so let's see what is one. Show warnings. You know, DB cannot resize buffer pool to lesser than chunk size of. This this is chunk size is five twelve. So this bytes. Okay, this is telling in the bytes. Okay, you know we cannot resize in the buffer pool because if you see here, as I told, you know the buffer pool instances and you know the buffer pool chunk size is not a global variable. They need the MySQL restart to change. Okay, so if I am setting to one GB from two GB to one GB, what is going to happen? If if the modification is happen, what what four into 512, which is which is 2 GB. The rule will be break, right? If I if the modification, I mean the 2 GB to 1 GB, that modification modification is happened. This 4 into 512 is 2 GB. But if you have in order to be buffer pool size equal to 1 GB, then the rule will be break, right? So in the, for that, considering that MySQL will not allow, if you read the error log, MySQL will not allow the allow this change. Okay, you can see, the, you can read the log here. Requested to resize buffer pool, new size, which is 2, G, uh, 2 GP. Size did not change, whole size is 2 GP, nothing to do, okay. This is, if this change is going to happen, the rule will be break. The you know, be buffer pool chunk size into you know, be buffer pool instances, the, the rule will be break. So MySQL will not allow this change, okay. You will be get error, and if you check the size, I mean, uh, this is not a buffer pool size. It is still 2 GP. Okay. It is not reduced to 1 GP. This is still 2 GP. And we have the other value system. Okay. That is the first thing. And the next thing is resize in order to buffer pool size to 3 GP. That is the next scenario. Let, let's test this. So here I am just going to make uh, one. Instead of one, I am just going to put three. So three into one zero two four into one zero two four into one zero two four. Uh, in order to be buffer pool size, so it is the three GP. I just changed here. Also, we have the warning. Show warnings. Okay. So here the warning is different. So here we see cannot resize. Here we see truncated incorrect. You know, to be buffer pool size value. This one. So this is just truncated because. <clears throat> If you set 3 GP, what is what will be our value is select. So this will be our value if you if you have 3 GP. But this 4 GP, I mean the buffer pool instance is 4, and the instance is if you uh, multiply this in ODP buffer pool chunk size, which will be 2 GP. So this 2 GP we are going to set in 3 GP. So this is not satisfying the InnoDB buffer pool instances into InnoDB buffer pool chunk size. We have the other rule, multiply of InnoDB buffer pool chunk size into InnoDB buffer pool instance. So here 4 into 512 is 2 GP. The multiply value will be 4 GP, but we are setting 3 GP. So here also this is not satisfying the rule. Okay, so now let's read the error log. So this is what generated in error log. The requested uh, to resize buffer pool. New size is this byte. Okay, requested to resize buffer pool for uh, this this byte. Okay, uh, so resizing buffer pool from this byte. This is two GP to four GP, but we asked to set it to three GP. I will I will tell you. So and uh, when resizing the buffer pool, the additive hash index will be disabled. So this is disabled and withdrawing the blocks. And this is have modification is happening. Finally, the complete to resize the buffer pool and re-enable the additive hash index, completing the resize buffer pool size. Now, let's come here. Let's check the value. If you see, 
the buffer pool size is 4096 but what we requested is 3 gp okay so it should be select 3 into 1024 means it should be 3042 but it is modified up to 4 gp uh, 4096 mp okay so why we have this value is if we have 3072 that is 3 gp select 512 into 4 this is 2028 if it, the this is the this is the unodb buffer pool chunk size into unodb buffer pool instance the value is 2048 this is not going this is not equal to 3 gp value 3078 then let's check the multiply uh select 2048 into 2. This value is 4096. But this is this is also 4096 also not equal to 3072. Okay. So multiplication of these values uh, is not going to match the 3GP 3072. So what MySQL did as per the rule, uh, MySQL increased the InnoDB buffer pool size from 3GP to 4GP by itself okay it is it is just increased from three to four okay so this is uh what we go we did not configure i mean 4 gp but mysql automatically increased to four uh, based on the rule what we uh based on the buffer pool configuration okay uh here you can see the rule in odb buffer pool chunk size into in odb buffer pool instances otherwise multiple of in order to be buffer chunk size in the in order to be buffer sensors. Now we can also see the uh, one more one, uh, one more uh, step reduce in order to be buffer pool size to one GP again. Okay, so now what the value we have is uh, in order to be buffer pool size equal to four GP, uh, in order to be buffer pool chunk size equal to five twelve MP, and in order to be buffer pool instance equal to four. Set global. In ODP buffer pool size equal to one GP into one zero two four into one zero two four. Okay, here also we have the warning show warnings equal to truncated incorrect value. Okay, now let's check the value here. What is the updated value? It is reduced to two GP from four GP to two GP because then only it will satisfy the rule. Select four into 512. It is 2048, and here also we have the 2048. So this is, uh, we, but we set uh, set to 1 GP, in order to buffer pool size equal to 1 GP, but it is value is uh, increased from 1 to MySQL internally, increased to 2 GP based on the chunk size and the in order to buffer pool instances. Point. Okay. So this is about what I wanted to share uh, in this video. Uh, so changing the NODP buffer pool size is not just setting the value, buffer pool size value. We should make sure about the chunk size and we should make sure, make sure of the instances. Okay. Based on that, uh, your value NODP buffer pool size will be configured and you should be aware of this rule. Okay. Uh, based on this rule only, uh, you can uh, configure the in order to be buffer pool size. Okay, in order to be buffer pool chunk size into in order to be buffer pool instances or multiple of in order to be buffer pool chunk size into in order to be buffer pool instances. So just keep this rule in your mind when, when you are configuring the in order to be buffer pool size. Okay, so yeah, uh, hopefully this video is helpful. Uh, maybe if something, some part is uh, not understandable, just uh, reach me uh, or comment under the video so that um, we can discuss over there. Okay. Uh, so if you like this video, or oh, just share with your friends as well uh, who is planning the MySQL. And for more MySQL related videos, just subscribe my channel. Thank you, guys.